I love food so much, I'd do anything. <laughs> anything. Hollywood is all about illusion, especially when it comes to horror films. Do you ever wonder how movie makeup artists conjure up all those dead bodies and mangled limbs? What do they actually use to make all the, all the splattered brains and blood and gore? Well, it turns out a lot of it is made from food. At the Cinema Makeup School in Hollywood, the food isn't for eating. Director of Education Leonard Engelman is going to show me how to prepare a feast for the eyes using some familiar ingredients. And he's the expert. His credits include Rocky IV, Rambo, and two Batman films. Nice to see you, Adam. So you're the uh, master movie makeup artist, huh? Well, I like to think so. My range of makeup goes from beauty all the way to monsters and such. Nice. And that's what we teach here. I want to learn about how sometimes you use food to make really, really gross things. Well, let me show you. After I put on the school uniform, Leonard told me his class had already started working on makeup for our model Brie, and I was going to put on the finishing touches. And there's a number of things that we've done here, all having to do with food. You see that the forehead is very pronounced. Right. That's Knox gelatin, the same type oh, of gelatin yeah. that you would use to make jello. And down in here, where we have more of a scabbing, this is done with cornflakes. Our scar right in through here is just a shaved piece of apple. You know, when I teach here, we right. do third degree burns. And sure. the third degree burn is when the, when the flesh actually catches on fire. Think of barbecued chicken. Really? So we're gonna take a little charred chicken skin. Oh, well, you see, that's something that's right up my alley because I'm really into barbecue. Okay. So and the skin well, is the best part. There so. we go. Take a little bit of medical adhesive. Now you're going to apply that right into here. So now you're gonna very gingerly take this and you're going to work it right into where those spots are. Gotcha. Wow. This is crazy. What is it like, the sensation of chicken skin on your face, Brie? Sticky. Leonard said these techniques are rarely used in big-budget films anymore because of advances in materials and digital technology. But a good makeup artist should be able to work with any budget. So, what if I was actually, like, a low-budget filmmaker? Right. And I wanted to create some real gore effects. Well, you saw some of it already, but let's go to the grocery store and we'll really bloody this up. We're back from the store and ready to prepare our ingredients for our victim, starting with the death pallor and a head wound. And we're going to have you start with a little bit of flour, a little bit of water. I'm going to put in just a little bit of oil. Okay, now we're going to mix a little bit of our strawberry jam okay, and our peanut butter two mixed up. Okay. Let's add just a little bit more of the strawberry. Have it just a, a little separated there. Next, we're going to work on the intestines. We're going to... Mmm. Okay, now we've got all that nicely working together there. We're well, making your work easy. I mean, that, that already looks disgusting. We'll yeah. just take a little of this, and I just want you to work this into there. Okay. Let's put a little bit underneath there. Are we going to still use this plate for the final product? Right. We're going to set this plate on the actor's stomach. Where do you come up with these kind of ideas? I mean, like, I would not mix peanut butter and jelly with cabbage. We're not going for taste. I mean, that looks amazing. When you just added that right there, it really started to make a difference. And it went from just kind of looking like sausage and cabbage on a plate yeah. to something truly vile and repulsive. Right up oh. in there. Right up oh, in that there. is not. We just lost our G rating. Just okay. now. Hello. Oh, great. Oh, hello there. Hi. Hi. To, how are you? You're just, you're just in time. for lunch. Cecilia is going to let us temporarily disembowel her, which, you know, I thought was really sweet. Hello? Cecilia, for your motivation, you've just been attacked by an alien monster creature who feasted on your internal organs. So we're going to take a sea sponge, Good. okay, mm -hmm. and we're going to go over her arms here. That's already looking very dead the peanut butter um, and jelly mixture yeah let's do that so i want to use my hands to work this sure so this is basically a, a gaping head wound yeah we can put a little bit of that cabbage in there now now it's really starting to look like something because you're doing a layering you're putting the mixture down then the cabbage then some more of the mixture and it gives it a lot of depth maybe just a little bit of this oh. okay all right now okay so what do we have to rip now, this open here this is going to go right in here like that okay. cut into that I can see how this can kind of never get old after 40, 40 plus years. Like, oh, another eviscerated alien mutation attack. You're always learning. You're always trying new things. 
It's a little little final dress now. We're probably ready for her close-up, Mr. DeVille. Oh, yeah. Leonard, that is truly gourmet. You are a genius. <laughs> it was great working with Leonard, a true master of cinema arts. He taught me how one could, if one had an extremely low-budget create, realistic horror effects for a movie and uh, still have something to feed your crew with. Mm. Mm. We'll go nice with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Thank you.